Okay. Derivative of m by y is equal to what? 2x plus. Derivative of n by x is equal to 2xy. Now they are equal. So that means you get an exact equation. To find the solution of this differential equation, it's got to be this differential equation here. We would we know that the solution of this differential equation is fxy equal to c. So we have to find fxy. And then we also know that df by dx is equal to m, okay, which is equal to x to the power 3 plus xy to the power 2 plus x to the power 3. We find f by doing integral with x plus dy. We would get f is equal to x to the power 4 over 4 plus x to the power 2 y to 2 by 2 plus dy. And then we do derivative of this f by y. We know that it would be equal to n. We do derivative with y, you would, this one's gone, right? This one's gone. You would get this term, which is what? x squared y plus d dy by dy equal to n and our n is equal to x squared y or like that this term and this term cancel out Right? So if you move to there, you will get 0. D, dy by dy is equal to 0. So our dy is a constant, right? Right? Because if you do derivative of dy by y, you will get 0. So that means you get constant. So if constant do we need to write down, we don't need to, because our final solution, we got f equal to c. That constant will be moved to here and combined with this thing. So it'll be the constant. Okay. So I would say that then our fxy is equal to x to the power 4 divided by 4 plus x to the power 2 y to the power 2 divided by 2 plus x to the power 3 divided by 3 equal to c. That's the answer. Find the solution of y dx plus 3 plus 3x minus y dy. Again, this differential equation cannot be arranged into the form of separable equation, which is our first technique. We can't, we can't solve for the answer by that technique. And this equation is not 
a homogeneous differential equation. Now we are going to check whether this differential equation it is an exact equation. So our m is equal to y and our n is equal to 3 plus 3x minus y. We do derivative of m by y equal to equal to 1. And then we do derivative of n by x equal to 3. So they are not equal. So that means this differential equation is not an exact equation. Now, we want to find an extreme factor to change this differential equation to be an exact equation. So how do we do it? That is the first case, which is saying that 1 over n times the difference between dm by y and dn by x got to be a function of x only. Okay? Now, our n is 3 plus 3x three minus y. Our dm by y is equal to 1 and our dn by x is equal to 3. So you would get minus 2 divided by 3 plus y and 3x minus y. Which is not a function of x, right? Because you still have y there. So we are going to move to the second case, which is 1 over m times the difference between n dx and m dy. Now, our m is equal to 1 over y. Our n is equal to 3 and our dm by dy is equal to 1. So you would get 2 over y, which is a function of y only. So in this case, you can find an integrating factor by using integrating factor is equal to exponential of integral dy dy. Our dy is equal to 2 over y dy. So you do integral, you would get 2 ln y, which is equal to exponential of ln y square, which is equal to y square. Now, an integrating factor of this problem is y squared. So it says that multiply y squared to, to the differential equation. So we would get y to the power 3 dx plus y squared times 3 plus 3x three minus y dy equal to 0. Now we are going to check again whether this differential equation becomes an exact equation. Our m now changing to y to the power 3. And our n now is equal to 3y to the power 2 plus 3xy to the power 2 minus y to the power 3. We do differential of m with y and we do the differential of n with x. So we would get the m by dy is equal to 3y squared. You do the n by x, you would get only this term, right? Because this term still constant. You do the differential of it, you would get zero. So only this term, but you still have some value, which which is equal to three y squared. So now both of them are equal. So that means this differential equation becoming an exact equation. So we can find the solution of this differential equation by using an exact 
equation technique that we know that f x y is equal to c would be the solution of this differential equation. Now we got to find y x f x y. Okay. So we know that df by dx is equal to m. Okay. So we do integral of this term m y to the power 3 dx plus 3y. So we would get f is equal to xy to the power 3 plus dx. And then we do derivative of this one with, I'm sorry, dy. We do derivative of this f by y. We would get 3xy to the power 2 plus d dy by dy. And we know that when you do the derivative of this term, it would be equal to n. So you put your n there, you would get 3y to the power 2 plus 3xy to the power 2 minus y to the power 3. Okay. You see this term and this term still cancels out. So you would get the the dy by dy is equal to 3y to the power 2 minus y to the power 3. From this, you can find dy by doing an integral. You would get 3y to the power 2 minus, two minus y to the power 3 dy. So you would get dy is equal to doing integral of 3y squared dy would get y to the power 3 minus integral of y to the power 3 by dy you would get y to the power 4 by 4. So now you plug your dy into your f there. You would get xy to the power 3 plus y to the power 3 minus y to the power 4 divided by 4 equal to c and that is the answer of your differential equation.